What up YouTube, King Van Addis. Today I got the Red Cat Racing Blackout Short Course Truck. This is the brushed edition. So today we're going to do a brushless upgrade. I got the Hobby Wing Quick Run ESC at 60 amps and I got an off-brand uh, brushless motor, 3650 can, uh, 3900 kV. So it's going to be a big jump in power in this. Um, I burnt out the original motor and ESC on this truck. So I swapped it out for a different uh, brushed motor and a Novak uh, ESC, which it ran okay. I do have some video footage I will show you that in a second. And um, but it also uh, kind of got messed up on me. So said enough with the games. I'm just gonna throw a brushless system in here, something with a little bit more power. So I'm gonna show you that video. And I'm going to go ahead and install this and I'm going to do a quick run, show you guys the difference in power and performance all around general. It got too hot. The solder came off. Disconnect this before the battery gets messed up. Okay, real quick, I wanted to show you guys. You don't have to take everything apart. You see, I still got all this on here to get the motor out. I removed the uh, pinion gear, but there's a screw right here which I already loosened up. You could get to and there's another screw right here that you could get to I mean you could probably break this up a little bit right here to make it a lot easier but it's some flex in it my driver and you could just see how that's in there loosen that up and the motor will come right out so I want to give you guys a quick hint and tip so you don't have to pull this whole engine mount out or remove this whole diff because that's a lot of work so I'll just one, two, three, four screws plus the um the arms. Pop that off, pop this plastic piece off, and then you can have access to the, the motor screws and it'll slide right out. Alright, so the motor's in, ESC is in, everything's nice and tight and cozy. Uh do the battery in there to make sure everything is working properly. Reverse, forward, um, I changed the pinion out because this breast pinion kind of sucks. It will strip the, uh, the spur gear out after a couple hard uh, landings. So I threw a 14 tooth steel pinion in there. It's a little uh, under geared, but I think it'll still perform well. So, like, like I said, a lot of power, a lot of torque in this. So, I'm going to throw the body on. I'm going to go outside and give it a run. All right, this is the first run with the new motor set up.
supposed to stop working. Oh, that's a problem. Fan stop working. That's not good. I need a new freaking receiver. Oh. Well, the car seems to be performing fine. Um, I think I need a new transmitter or receiver. It seems to be dying out or losing signal every time I get deep in the water. I don't know if it's just the motor lacking power or it seems fine when it's not in the water, but I do lose service when I go out too far with the remote. Well, I'll keep working on her. Um, maybe I'll switch out remotes to see if that's the problem. And uh, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe. Check you next time.